Broadcast signals such as DVB-T, DVB-T2, DVB-C2, ISDB-T or ATSC are constructed to follow strict RF requirements, mostly aimed to ensure they occupy the bandwidth they have been assigned and they do not interfere with any other adjacent channels. Due mainly to non-linearities in the power amplifiers, the output RF signal contains unwanted components in the band limit and out of the band the shape of which has given rise to the term shoulder. Shoulder attenuation should be measured at the output of the power amplifier right before sending the signal to the antenna through the net of passive devices. Because of the power level typically available at that point, it is mandatory to use external power attenuators so that the level can be adapted to the maximum accepted by the analyzer. Once we have tuned one specific RF channel, we will press F3 tools and select shoulder attenuation. Four red markers on the screen indicate the two windows where, according to the norms, measurements must be calculated. Two main points are taken as a reference within those windows which are referred to as upper shoulder attenuation, up, and lower shoulder attenuation, low, both shown automatically on the analyzer. Resolution bandwidth of the filter used to take the measurements is shown in the lower right corner of the screen. It can be time consuming to take this measurement with a standard spectrum analyzer. However, the shoulder attenuation feature in the H0 Ranger meters is designed to calculate this measurement automatically following the guidelines from the ETR290 norm.